Welcome, Scorpios. I'm back, y'all, with another video. Mm. So let's see what we got, guys. I'm going to switch things up just a little bit. Just a little bit, not too much. But um, we're going to see how your person views you and how you view your person. And then we're going to bring the story all together, okay? So be with me, guys. Follow the story. If this is your story, guys, make sure to leave the thumbs up. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Share it with your family and your friends. You never know who may need to hear this message. Okay, so let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, guys. Um, If you would like to, currently at the moment, I'm sold out of the Money Magnet Oil. But I am going to utilize the new moon that we have on the 17th um, to do a new batch okay so you can pre-order the money magnet oil it is 22 dollars guys this is for people who want to manifest okay who want to use this new moon energy to manifest okay manifest the business manifest a new job career manifest more money manifest some luck into your life some abundance um you can utilize this oil okay it's $22. It's going to include shipping. Um, this is for U.S. orders. Um, the shipping is free, but um, there is going to be a fee if I'm shipping outside of the U.S., okay? So you can contact me via email. That information is going to be in the drop box below to uh, go ahead and get invoice for your money magnet oil, okay? This oil, I feel like this go around with this energy this new moon energy it's a super moon so definitely i definitely want to utilize this energy to make a new batch and i feel like this energy here is going to be something big like something very very big so i want to utilize this energy um for this money magnet oil guys to attract abundance and prosperity into our lives y'all <laughs> all right so as well, if you want to book a personal reading, guys, that information is in the drop box below. Currently, I am running specials. Uh, I'm running special specials um, for a three card read for eleven dollars and eleven cents. Okay, so if you would like to join in on that, contact me via email. We'll get you set up. That information is in the drop box below. All right. So let's talk Scorpios. Ooh, we got the Two of Cups. Okay, so this is how they view you. We got the two of cups, okay? So they're a connection, a bond, a soulmate energy. Is this your soulmate? <laughs> All right, let's see. How are they viewing my Scorpios? Spirit said, let's go. Let's get a move on. Ooh, okay. That came out. We got the ace of swords here at the bottom of the deck. All right, so that's clarity, okay? We got the tower here. And the Four of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Scorpio, this is you guys' this energy, the Tower card. But this is like something out of the blue happening all of a sudden. Like, you see this? Like, this is like a boom moment. Like, out of the blue, just boom. Okay? And then all of a sudden, clarity is gained. Okay? A truth comes out. Or, you know, something that you've been thinking about. Okay? Like you've been thinking about, you finally get the clarity that you're looking for. But they view you, we got the two of cups. So there's a connection, a bond. They may view you as a soulmate here as well. Okay, you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer here with this moon card. But maybe that, maybe this relationship is a secret or you are, you're, they feel like you're hiding this relationship. I'm not sure. But here they come with that knight of swords or they feel like you're rushing towards them but let's see what we get i want to see why the two of cups is here why is the two of cups here thank you yeah see we got the star card okay so you could be dealing with an aquarius yeah somebody so if some of you are dealing with the past someone from your past is returning okay or they feel like you're returning from the past because this is how they view you but um, you could be dealing like with the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, see, they want this Ten of Cups. And I feel like they've been being very patient um, and trying to get your attention. But they want this connection. They want this. I feel like they want a, a, a relationship with you. Yeah, see, 
we got the temperance okay so they want to heal this relationship yeah i'm getting that you could be dealing with the sagittarius why is the moon card here all right yeah we got the knight of cups knight of cups is an offer this could be a, a offer towards a pisces or a cancer but look oh okay the truth is being revealed somebody is expressing their true feelings i'm getting here why is the knight of cups here the six of pentacles yeah okay so someone's possibly uh giving you something or giving you a gift or you're gifting this person or somebody wants a gift okay so they want you possibly want you to give them give them something a gift or some type of gesture to show that you want this too why is the six of pentacles here yeah two of wands and the seven of pentacles they've been waiting on this for a long time and it's like they're ready now like they're ready to come towards you Somebody here definitely had a had a few options because we got the two of swords and the seven of cups. Yeah, somebody here was holding on to options. Or somebody was possibly like holding you or keeping you around as an option, but now they're ready for a relationship. Why is the knight of swords here? Yeah, we got the four of cups. Yeah, see, somebody didn't want to make up their mind. I feel like they didn't want to make up their mind, but... Well, they felt like they couldn't make up their mind. They were taking their time to make up their mind. And I feel like they were doing it because they had a lot of off a lot of offers. Why is the four of cups here? Yeah, they're afraid that this isn't going to work. Um, they may feel like um they may look at this situation like, you know what? If I move too fast towards Scorpio, then I may regret it. But I feel like either they feel like you want to come back around to them or they want to come back around to you. But this is how they view you. So they could be viewing you as you're wanting to heal this situation. Um, you've given them some type of offer or gesture. Um, but I feel like they may feel like it's coming in too fast and it may not work okay because they feel like they, like you're like y'all may regret it why is the five of cups here yeah the the four of swords the three of cups and the ten of pentacles yeah they feel like they aren't you know don't want to regret it later is this going to be something long term or are you just coming to come in right now and just leave later like they are kind of on a fence about it about coming back together see with the three of cups and the ten of pentacles this is coming back together solidifying the relationship why is the temperance card here yeah see look at you guys's energy here the king of cups and the ace of cups pisces cancer scorpio and the will of fortune yeah change of heart so they feel like maybe you've had a change of heart and now you're being more expressive after you've been hiding. See, yeah, see, somebody's spying here. They feel like you're watching them. They're, they feel like you're spying on them to see if there's any third party or competition. Uh -huh, I'm trying to move the competition out the way. But I feel like um, <clears throat> they feel like you have been hiding your feelings, okay? But they feel like you want to come back. They feel like you want to come back. But they, I feel like they don't think that it's going to work. They feel like they'll regret it. Um, they feel like they'll regret it if you guys come back together. Why is the three of cups here? Thank you. Yeah, the five of pentacles and the ace of swords and the ten of swords. Because, look, see, I don't know if there's some type of betrayal that happened in the past, okay? And on top of that, they feel like you guys haven't clearly talked about it. You know, the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. And then we got the Five of Pentacles. It's like some details are missing. Like, they don't have all of the details. Like, why are you rushing towards me now? I don't have all the details. Like, what 
what you know give me more details before i make this move towards you or before i accept your offer why is the seven of pentacles here two of swords yeah see they can't make up their mind if they want to come if they want to go to go back two of swords and the six of cups they aren't sure like they're like i don't i don't know scorpio i feel like okay so they could be um Somebody here is very financially stable with the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So they could be looking at that. Like, you know, it'll be beneficial for me. Um, you know, maybe we can go into business together. Maybe you're a good provider. But they, they're they looking outside of that. You know, is it going to be worth it? Because I feel like they feel like there's some details missing. Okay. They don't have all the details. So let's see how you're viewing this person. So y'all want to go back to somebody. Y'all want to um, rush in to fix something with somebody. But your person seems like they're kind of like, I'm not sure if this is going to work. How are we going to do this? Did it work before? You know? How does my Scorpios view their person? Yeah, see, I'm sorry, how does Scorpio's person view Scorpio? How does Scorpio's person, I mean, how does Scorpio view this person? How does Scorpio view this person? Yeah, you feel like this person isn't interested with the Four of Cups. Yeah, like with the Four of Cups, you feel like they're not interested. They're not showing, they're not showing that they're, um, you know, they're not reciprocating the same energy. Okay. And then we got the Knight of Pentacles and we got the Knight of Cups. Okay, so you feel like this person isn't reciprocating that same energy. Like they're not showing any interest. Um so I'm getting like you may have decided like to leave. You feel like the right thing to do was to leave because they weren't showing you any interest or they weren't showing that they, you know, accepting of your offer. Why is the four of cups here? Yeah. You feel like, you know, I feel like you're crying over spilled milk because this person isn't accepting your offer. Like with the world here, they you feel like this chapter has closed. Um, and they're serious about it. Why the, the Queen of Swords is here? Like, yeah, you you've tried to offer to you know you you've been putting in effort. You've been putting in this effort to try to make this relationship a reality. Okay, and you've been trying to get this person attention, but this person with the star and the six of wands, it's kind of like this person may be on a real high horse right now, and you're having a hard time getting them to like notice you, um, to get you. I feel like this is an ex that you that you're wanting to go back to. Why is the five of cups here? Yeah, the ten of swords. Yeah, see. You feel like this person isn't interested. You feel like this person is done with you. Like, this chapter is closed. Yeah. And you may feel like this person likes bad guys. Like, the bad guy type. Um, and you may not come off as like that. But you feel like this person may like the bad guy. This is definitely, like, the bad guy. King of Wands and the Five of Swords, yeah. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? You may feel like you you know you took too long to come around to this person. Um, and I'm getting like a missed opportunity. Yeah, see, we got the Emperor and the Empress. This could be a baby mother, baby father situation. But it doesn't get any better than the Emperor and the Empress, okay? So you feel like, you know, this is what you want with this person. But, yeah, like you want a new start. You want a new start with this person. You want to build and work with this person. Some of y'all want to start businesses and build with this person. But this person is very guarded, okay? This person is very guarded towards you. They're guarded. 
I'm not sure if you abandoned them or left them out in the cold or rejected rejected them in some way, shape, or form. But I feel like they may just want to keep things at a friendly, you know, like a friendship. To avoid conflict and drama. Like, there's been some type of conflict and drama. Y'all did something to somebody and they're like, um... I'm not sure if I want to give this another try. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Queen of Cups. It could be a water sign like you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, see, this person could be expressing like how, how you know, the pain that you've caused them, you know, telling you, you know, you know, like what happened, how you, how that affected them. Um... Why is the Knight of Cups here? This is an offer. We got the Devil and the Strength card. Ooh. Okay. You could be dealing with the Leo or a Capricorn. But I feel like this person is undecided. Like, they're, they're either juggling. They got their own things going on where they're juggling. Or this person just can't make up their mind. And I'm getting, like, someone keeps asking I'm getting like someone continues to ask them. Oh, and then we got like <laughs> a spy here. You may be watching them from the sidelines. We got you guys' energy here with the death card. But yeah, they're not rushing. They're not making no moves. They're not rushing or making any moves. They're actually kind of like hanging around. The hangman energy you could be dealing with the Pisces. They're kind of just hanging around like monster devil here. I'm getting that someone asks for sex, too. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Yeah, the Knight of Swords and the Lovers. I'm getting that like somebody asks for sex. Somebody might feel, this person may feel like it's amateur. Like, with the Knight of Swords energy, is this is very reckless and childlike energy. So, with the Devil and the Knight of Swords here, this is kind of like, and, and the Lovers. Like, yeah, see, with the Seven of Wands, they feel they get offended when you ask them or when you come to them like that. Five of Swords and the Seven of Wands, yeah, they get offended. They don't, maybe it's the approach or something to that nature, but, like, I'm getting like they get offended. Let's see um, how this person views you from the romance angel this person view my Scorpio show me how does this person view Scorpio we got finances and career okay so they could be feeling like you are very stable and you can provide you're a good provider but at the bottom of the deck see we got new love here so they could be focused on something new okay they could be focusing on something new We got children, so children can be involved. Yeah, for some of you, I'm getting like, this is a baby mother, baby father energy, okay? I'm getting that. Um, and then we got let your friends help you, and then we got romantic feelings. But these two cards came out in the reverse, so I'm feeling like, let's see why uh, romantic feelings are here. The Empress and the Three of Cups. Why is the Empress here? Yeah, like they're putting this on hold. Like they're putting this on hold. Ace of Wands. They're waiting for something new. Waiting on a new approach from you or yeah, like okay, we got the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So this is like they're waiting on something new. Okay? 
the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, Lots of Pentacles. Yeah, three of yeah, three of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups. They want a different, they want something new. They want a different approach from you or want something different from you. Let your friends help you figure this out. Somebody here gets a lot of attention. Yeah, and the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's taking somebody's money. Don't want to split the money or don't. Yeah, I'm getting like Four of Cups. And then we got the Emperor here, okay? Like I said, this I'm getting kind of like this is for some of you, for not all. This is like a mother and father situation or a baby mother, baby father situation or a husband and wife. Yeah, we got the devil. Yeah, see, they don't want to be tied to this situation. I feel like they feel like they tried to work this out with you. Like they tried to give you a chance. I'm getting tried to give you a chance with this Eight of Pentacles and the judgment. Like they feel like they tried to give this a chance. Yeah. And the Knight of Pentacles is like the offers or it was a small offer on the table or, you know, it's like, you know, something King of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Like, it's just like it wasn't, it's something wasn't enough. Yeah. Yeah, the Eight of Cups, like somebody left, somebody's leaving. I'm getting like, they feel like something just wasn't enough. They tried to give like a chance, but it's like. They may want something more. They want more from you, okay? Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I'll chat with y'all later.